Hey you guys, it's Britt. Today we're here with an update on the Doherty Dozen and this video is not going to be lighthearted or talking about shopping habits or candy and cookies. This is going to be an update regarding the kinship situation and I want to talk to you guys about it. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so apologies in advance if you can hear Axel panting. Again, we're just kind of on this schedule filming after he goes for his walk, so he will cool down in a few minutes, but again, I will hold my mic a little closer, so hopefully that helps to ease the noise. I went back and forth on whether or not I was going to film this video or just keep my opinions to myself. But I do think that this directly ties back to everything that I've talked about when it comes to Alicia Doherty and her presence on social media. And I have covered the kinship situation um, to the best of my ability, not having any knowledge or any direct experience with kinship placements. I've tried to just kind of look at it from a subscriber's point of view. Like, what is a you know, average viewer of this channel kind of taking away from involving these kinship kids in the Doherty Dozen's content. I've said before, a lot of people look at these kinship kids and want to pick apart every little motion and every little thing. Um, I, from, from very early on, I had the opinion that the kinship boy was being heavily featured in Alicia's content because she knows that there are creeps online that are oddly obsessed with this boy. And the same goes for his sister. I think that it's deplorable and disgusting to allow people to leave comments positively or negatively about minors. If you are an adult and you are creeping on this page because you have an infatuation with a minor, I'll say what I always say, please get the f off the internet. You are weird and you should seek some kind of help, whether it's therapy or mental health or whatever. Stay away from the internet. It's weird. These are minor kids. So I'm not here to pick apart why this kid looked left instead of right or why they were, you know, playing with this toy on this day. That's not what I'm here for. I received information from a source who is going to remain anonymous. And when I received this information, I wanted to look into it for myself to confirm what I was seeing was actually from the person I thought it was from. And I have confirmed all of this. Receiving this kind of information is really tricky because number one, I'm going to protect my source, but I also want to allow my audience to know that, yes, I actually do have this receipt and I have confirmed it. And also, because the piece of info that I'm getting ready to share with you guys came from somebody who is not on YouTube and TikTok and all of this kind of stuff, I am also going to protect that person's name. Having the trust that my audience has in me, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, I believe I can share this with you guys and you all will know that I would never be making a video if I had not vetted this information and confirmed it for myself. So know that this did come from the person that I'm going to tell you it came from, even though I will keep her name confidential. And this was on a social media page, but this individual is not an Alicia Doherty and showing her stuff all over YouTube and TikTok, and that's why I'm going to protect her name. I know that my audience would never go bother this person, but I never know who's watching my videos, and I know that there's a lot of people that have a deep personal hatred for Alicia Doherty. So in delivering this video, I am doing my best to exhibit integrity by protecting the correct parties, but also delivering a topic that is valid considering everything that I've talked about when it comes to Alicia. I hope that makes sense. I hope it comes across. If you guys have feedback or 
any questions or anything, of course, leave them in the comments, contact me via email or DM on Instagram. I'm doing my best to sit in the middle and kind of manage everything that is surrounding this video. So what I received today was a post from Facebook. And this post came from the Kinships Bio Mom, who is on Facebook. This was not a private post or anything like that, but she shared, please pray for my daughter to stay resilient and is placed in a loving, structured, happy home until she comes back to me. So according to this Facebook post, the Kinship Bio Mom is announcing that her daughter is leaving the Doherty home. I saw a couple weeks ago, it was on the Doherty Dozen Reddit. I was sent this on Instagram as well, where she shared that she was grounded. So she wasn't allowed to go do whatever activity Alicia had planned. She shared on Snapchat that she was grounded, so she was at home. Alicia has completely mismanaged this entire kinship situation. She has allowed this girl to go to the gym unsupervised. She has allowed this girl to be um, a piece of bait on social media in order to gain a following and get likes and clicks. Alicia has overshared about this same birth mother who made this announcement to make herself look better. Alicia has completely oversaturated the kinship boy with materialistic stuff and kind of used him as kind of the star of the show. I don't want to make a lot of speculations, but the one that I feel safe in making, because it's pretty clear to see, in my opinion, I don't think that this girl was along for the ride when it came to Alicia's circus. This circus production that she is creating so that she can become more popular on social media, I don't believe that this kinship girl was into it. I don't think that she realized how involved it was because, hello, she's a teenager. And when you're going to this house, you don't know anything about anything. And then you see that Alicia is constantly filming, constantly oversharing, constantly having to fight for attention because there are so many kids in the house. Those kids, when you have 12 kids, it is physically impossible to treat them equally. Some of the kids have elevated needs. Some of the kids have different personalities. Like not all kids are the same. So there is no way that Alicia by herself is able to give these kids the one-on-one -on -one time that they need. I'm not talking about the stupid mini vlogs and shopping and going to McDonald's. I'm talking about actually sitting down and having one-on-one -on -one conversations with these kids, listening to what they have to say, um, getting them help if they need uh, help, teaching them lessons, giving them um, things that they can think through, like not just slapping them with, you know, some Bath and Body Works candles and sending them off to the gym unsupervised. As I said in the beginning of this video, this is a really tough topic to cover as a commentary channel. And I'm not here to say, oh, well, this girl is probably doing this, doing that, X, Y, Z. This is how she's feeling. And this is what she's doing right this second. I hope that this is a positive situation for her. It does really hurt my soul to think that she won't be with her brother because it's just really tough. Like everything is out there on social media. Now she's not going to be in the house anymore, but she's most likely still going to be watching TikToks and YouTube videos. And she's going to be seeing her brother on the other side of that camera, wondering how he's really doing. And she'll be worried about herself, but I guarantee you that she's going to be really worried about her brother too, because now she has seen behind the curtain of the Doherty home. I really hope that she is okay. I hope that this is, um, I hope that this is a positive thing for her. I wish her nothing but the best. And 
in a strange way, I'm hoping that this leads her to where she wants to be. And it's just sad. It's just sad. That's, that's all that it is. I would like to say this might be a wake-up call for Alicia, but it won't be. It won't be. She'll glaze over it and she'll ignore TikTok comments once this, because this will spread. Like, it, it's on Facebook. I didn't dig it out of some private archive on a special website. This will start to get spread around. I hope that everybody protects the mom's name. I hope that everybody protects these kinship kids' names, too. Because they're not going to be with the Doherty's forever and they might want nothing to do with the Doherty Dozen brand once they're out of that house. So even though I would like to close this video out and say, hey, maybe we'll see a little bit of a different approach from Alicia when it comes to putting all these kids on social media, but I think that she'll deflect it. She'll deflect, deny, move on, continue to do annoying trends on TikTok using her other kids, and she will ignore questions, concerns, because they will start to come up. This kinship girl hasn't been in any content in three days. So I guarantee you, even without my video, people would probably start to be like, hey, what's going on? Because audience members recognize when someone's missing. Someone's not around. What's going on? And that would happen without my video. So I don't really know how to close this out. Use the comments. Tell me how you guys feel. Do not use the kinship kids names in my comments on this video or any other video. Please use their initials. If I see their names being used, I will delete the comment. Maybe Alicia will prove me wrong and we'll see a completely different demeanor and way of making content, but I doubt it. I'm just not sure how to feel about this. I worry for all the kids, but I've been saying for a really long time, I've specifically been very concerned about these kinship kids because it was never a permanent situation. And the way that Alicia used them to build her social media platform is gross. And that's how I feel about it. You can put a roof over a kid's head and feed them and give them materialistic stuff. Let's take it back to square one. But that doesn't mean that you have the right to overshare, exploit, and use them as bait for adults who are obsessed with minors. And that's how I feel about it. So that's going to be it for now. I don't, I don't really know. I don't know how to close this video out. I'm, I'm concerned. But either way, that's going to be it for now. If you like the video, please have a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.